In this lesson, I will show you how you can customize your Astra theme. Uh, you have two ways how you can access customization options. You can go right here and select customize, or you can go to your WordPress dashboard, go to appearance section and select customize. As you can see, the first option is meant for upgrading your Astra theme. With the free version, you don't have so many customization options available. So in this lesson, I will be talking about the global settings, about header. We will not be doing any changes to this section. We will do some adjustments in block section, sidebar. And I have another lesson for footer. So there's more things to talk about it. We will not be doing any changes in menus right now. And we will not change anything in widgets because I will talk about widgets in another lesson as well. In the home page settings, as you can see, we have already set our home page as home, the page which we created using Elementor. So this is our home page. And as you remember, we created other page which we named blog and we didn't do any changes to it. So this page is being used to display our blog post. All right, let's go back. And in additional CSS settings, we will not do any changes at all. So let's start with global settings and let's go to typography. So this section is all about fonts. We can change the font family of our website. So for example, if we would change it to other font, let's say to this one, as you can see, the font is different right now. So it's up to you if you want to change the font family, you can adjust the size of the font and you can do other adjustments as well. So it's up to you if you want to do any changes right here, but I think my website looks good with a default font. So let's go back to default system font and let's go back and in the heading section, again, we can change change the font of headings. So for example, if you would change the font family in this section, it would be applied for all headings from the first heading to the sixth heading. So for example, let's change it to Verdana. And as you can see, this font now is different. And for example, if we would go to our blog page, as you can see, this is the title of our blog, which was added by default. And if we would go back to the previous font, let's go and select this one. As you can see, the font now is different. Uh, right here, you can uh, change the font for each individual heading. So you can select different font for the first heading, for the second, but uh, I believe there's no need to do any changes everything looks good by default so let's go back and let's click back so in color section we can change the base colors so right now theme color is set to blue I would like to change it to an orange color so all I have to do is just click right here and I will select this color all right I guess I will go back to my home page all right so I'm just gonna change the theme color to a little bit darker orange and we can change the link color so again I will use orange color and I'm just gonna change it to a, a little bit darker color. And as you can see, it was changed right here. Now we have orange color. So yeah, it's up to you if you want to do any theme color changes, adjustments. So I'm just gonna change it to orange and we can go back. Let's go back. In container settings, we can do some layout adjustments. We can change the layout of our website. So I highly recommend you to test all these options, all these settings to see what fits your needs the best. But I will leave it as it is. I believe it looks quite good. So let's go back and let's click on buttons. So in buttons, basically you can change the color of buttons. You can even change the font of button and you can do some spacing adjustments. But if you're not going to do any changes, the font is going to be used, which was set for global settings and the color is going to be used from the global settings as well. I believe everything looks quite good. So we can go back. Let's go back to the beginning and let's click on header options. So so let's start with the site identity. So we could add a logo for our website. Let's click right here. And since I have already uploaded my logo, I'm just going to choose from media library. Uh, but if you need to upload one, you can click right here and add files. Let's go back to library and I'm just going to choose this logo. Let's click select. All we have to do is just crop an image. So yeah, everything looks fine. I'm just going to click crop image. And as you can see, the logo was added right here. It's a little bit too large, so we can change the size of this logo by moving this button. It looks much better. And right now we don't really need this title in our header, so we can disable it by clicking this option. As well, we could add a site icon. So the site icon is going to be displayed right here. So for example, let's select site icon. Since I have already uploaded it, I'm just going to select from the media library. All right, just going to select it. And as you can see, it was added right here. 
All right, let's go back and let's do some changes to primary header. So in this section, we can change the layout of our header. As you can see right here, if I will click on the second option, our header would look something like this, but I will go back to the original layout. I think it looks quite good. You can change the width of this header. You can even change the layout in your mobile device. So for example, we can check how our website would look on a mobile device by clicking right here. And if we would do some changes in this section, as you can see, our header would look something like this on a mobile device as well we can check how it's going to look on tablet all right let's change it back and let's go back to desktop view all right so let's go back and primary menu we can select an item which is going to be displayed right here so right now it's selected a search you can add a button you could add a text you can change the link of this button but I'm going to keep a search and if you want you can test all these other options as well don't be afraid to test things yourself yourself because this way you'll find what fits your needs the best all right so let's go back to other settings and let's click transparent header so right now our header is not transparent as you can see and if we would check this option enable on complete website as you can see our header would be transparent so the problem is that our text is not being displayed properly and we cannot see anything so we would have to go back to global settings and we would have to change the text color of header but i believe i'm just gonna use non-transparent header so let's go back and let's uncheck this option all right let's go back so all right we are not going to do any changes for this section let's go to blog options and let's click on blog archive to be able to see applied settings we would have to go to our blog page so you would have to click on your blog page as can see this is our blog and right here we can do some adjustments we could swap the featured image with a title so right now if we would have an image for this blog post the image would be displayed above the header and if we would swap those two elements the header would be displayed above the image but I'm just gonna keep it as it was before I guess uh, I'm just gonna remove author from our meta all right as you can see my email just disappeared and basically these are the most important important settings as well you can change the font and this section you you can do other changes but everything looks good as this right now so let's go back and we can do some changes in single post so again the settings are very similar but these settings would be applied for a single post so for example if we would click on this post and if we would do any changes for example let's enable offer and as you can see it would be displayed right here uh, let's disable it and let's go back let's go back and sidebar we can do some changes for a sidebar so the sidebar is this section so basically sidebar uses widgets and widgets are small blocks of content which can be displayed in various places of your website in this case in the sidebar so I would recommend you to hide this sidebar from the pages so we could disable it and in later lessons I will show you how you can add widgets to your sidebar and it's up to you if you want to use the sidebar but I will show you how you can add various widgets let's say you can add some type of image you could add a and add to the sidebar or you could add the most popular posts or any similar information but if you don't want to have this sidebar on your website uh, in any pages in any blog posts or in the page of your blog you can disable it by going right here and clicking no sidebar but I will show you how you can add widgets to the sidebar so let's go back and as I mentioned you before about other options including footer menus and widgets I will talk in another lessons uh, so basically that's all this is how you customize your theme and once you have finished doing changes don't forget go right here and click publish so now we can close this section and we can go to our home page and let's see how our website looks now so as you can see now it looks much better we have a logo right here and basically it doesn't matter which uh, theme you are planning to use maybe in the future you will decide to use other theme all the customization settings are done in this section so once you click customize uh, most of the themes have very similar customization options of course if you have a free theme you will not have so many customization options as if you would have with a paid version so that's all that's how you customize your theme